In this session, we study how to find the transitive closure of a relation using Bursal's algorithm. Now, example for this R is equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1 and 3, 2. We want to find the transitive closure. So, to find out this transitive closure, our basic step is, first of all, we want to represent this relation in the matrix form. And that matrix form can be considered as a W0. 1, 2, 3. These are the row and the column titles because these are the only the three elements in the corresponding relation. So the 1, 1 can be represented in the first position, 1, 2 in the second position, 2, 3 into the last position in the second row, 3, 1 in the first position of the last row. 3 to into the second position of the last row and the remaining fields we have to consider as a 0 then we are finding the position of 1 in first column so in the first column position are 1 3 and in first row in the first row, the positions are 1, 2. So therefore, new positions of 1 are 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. So we have taken the Cartesian product of these two. So this new position with the help of the new position, we are getting the new matrix called as W1. Now first of all, we write the new position. So the new positions are 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. And the remaining entries are taken from this previous matrix. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Again, the we have to do the same method for the second column and the second row. So, for the second column, the position of one is 1, 3, and for the second row, it is 3. So the new position of 1, R, 1, 3, 3, 3. So the new matrix becomes W2 is equal to 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So the new position are 1, 3, 3, 3. And the remaining entries are taken from this previous matrix. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Again, we have to do the same process for the third column. In the third column, the position of 1 are So in the third column, the position of 1 are 1, 2, 3 and in the third row, the position of 1, 2, 3. So the new positions are 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. See, 1, 3 in the previous matrices, 1, 3 is nothing but the centering. 
and the three thing is nothing but this one thing. So this is nothing but one thing and this is nothing but three thing. So now we go for the next step. That is, in the next step we are getting the last matrix that is W three. So W three is equal to one two three and one two. So the all the entries are like this: three one, three two, three three, two one, two two, two three. So therefore, the transitive closure is equal to. So from above matrix, the one one, one two, one three, two one, two two, two three, three one. Three two, three three. So this is nothing but transitive closure, and this is the way we are finding the transitive closure of any regular chain.